Today we will discuss some things that have been going on such as Bowie cop shoots at unarmed man for no reason and Maryland rapper Young Slack killed. The first topic we will get into is Bowie cop shoots unarmed man for no reason. Recently a Bowie cop would be charged with attempted M1 after he would pull behind a vehicle sitting on the side of the road with its hazards on and that's when the cop would get out as the single cop walks up to the vehicle with the man and woman occupying it. He would try to talk to the man, but the man would begin walking towards the street, causing the cop to fire a shot at him, missing and hitting a vehicle passing by. The unarmed man would drop to the floor after the shot, but he would not be hit by gunfire. After this, the woman would begin yelling, why would you do that? And the cop would repeatedly say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. On charges after a shooting last month when he opened fire during a traffic stop. Fox 5's Homa Bash live in Bowie with a first look at the video of that shooting. Homa? Hey guys, good evening. The community has been asking for transparency since this happened, and today they got it with these charges filed in the release of body and dash cam video showing the shooting and exactly what led up to it. And I have to warn you, some of our viewers may find this disturbing. On September 12th at 8 a.m., Bowie Police Sergeant Robert Warrington comes across a stopped vehicle on the left shoulder near John Hansen Highway. Warrington gets out to help, but moments later fires a single shot at the passenger who says he was getting a hat blown onto the road. You here to help her? Uh, Are you here to help her? Nah, she's taking me to the hospital. Come here. You got a gun. What'd I do? What'd I do? Got a gun. I don't have a gun. I don't what have a gun. To be clear, the man falls to the ground but is not hit by a bullet. The shot hits a passing vehicle but doesn't injure anyone. Immediately, Warrington starts apologizing. Why did you do that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Today, Prince George's County State's Attorney Aisha Braveboy announcing a grand jury indictment against Warrington. Attempted second degree murder, first degree assault, misconduct in office, and two counts of reckless endangerment. It's important that those uh, who have been sworn to protect and serve the public uh, really value life. And when actions uh, of an officer um, or anyone, whether it's a civilian as well, um, show a disregard uh, for life, uh, the law is there uh, to hold them accountable. I support the grand jury's independent, objective process and decision. For weeks, the community has questioned what led to the shooting and demanded answers. Officials want to be clear. The man who was shot at was never arrested, never charged, and has fully cooperated with the investigation. Bowie Mayor Tim Adams says transparency and integrity are key. And we need to really understand that everybody is held accountable. And that's not prejudging anything, but also just knowing that uh, here I'm very proud of our police department and what we've done here. Warrington is a 12-year veteran of the Bowie City Police Department, now suspended without pay. He has been issued a summons following today's indictment. We'll have his first court appearance in the coming weeks, guys. And for the next topic we will discuss, rapper Young Slat killed. Young Slat is a rapper from Bladensburg, Maryland, who would began rapping some years back and would drop a lot of hits alongside his good man, Baby Slime. The duo would drop songs together and gain a lot of views and even hitting a quarter million on one song, Young Slat would have a lot of ops in his section of Maryland and he would go back and forth on live with them a lot. Little boys, it goes with them dumb ass other niggas who shoot from a hundred yards away. Y'all niggas real dumb Y'all niggas real dumb as Hey, what you talking about? Y'all niggas don't got no heart for my what, mother. What do you do? None of y'all. I will kill all y'all. Oh, really? I kill all y'all, bruh. I don't care. What? I don't care. What? But ask you, man. Ask you, man. Ask you, man. I don't want no smoke. Don't come. None of your men got out there. Get back for y'all. I did. Get back for y'all, men, boy. You hat. On day. Hat. You hat. You hat. I'm hat. Hat. You never, you never seen me be hat ever, bro. 
If I was high, high. high slime, come you on. You go like got on live and told niggas what the fuck you going on. Why you had it, shit? Hey, slime, my paperwork. My name Dirty is your shit. Slime. Show me some money. Right, my look, name on your case. Show it out loud. All right, big boy. That's what I'm saying. You niggas is mad. You mad. Hey, you show some money. Rim, big boy. What car? Wait. What? Who the fuck you mad? What car you get? A nigga laid you on the floor. You watch your man die. You watch your man die. You got laid on the floor. Watch your man die. On J-Rock grave. On J-Rock grave. On my grandmother. You hear me? Oh, oh Buck Brave, I ain't watch nobody heard. die. You heard. Oh, oh Buck Brave, I ain't watch nobody die. You heard. Your man died for the rock. Hey, look, though. Hey, All right, look, though, JD. Stop this nigga. Nigga, nigga, you know. Watch your fuck that. Fuck that. Nigga, you, you know. Wet. You know the nigga. You let him die. Hey, look. Yeah. Fuck that. Where you hey, at, bro? Hey, you laid on that floor. I you love you, bro. You my fucking hey, heart. I swear to God. You laid on that floor. My mother, you. Hey, you my heart, bro. I swear to God, you my heart. I love you too, big boy. You hear me? Young Slap would be killed early this morning. The Prince George's County Police Department, PGPD, said it has identified a man who was shot and killed in Lanham on Op 29. PGPD said that at about 11 p.m., officers responded to the 7,000 block of Highview Terrace for the report of a shooting. There, they found a man who had been shot. The victim was identified as 23-year-old Adam Hashim of Lanham. Police are offering a reward of up to $25,000 for information that leads to an arrest and indictment of those involved. Police don't believe this incident was random. News would surface of young Slap passing away at about 3 a.m. Streets would say that this was Riverdale work, which is Lil Dude Hood, and they would also post a girl who allegedly backdoored young Slap. The same girl who they say backdoored him would also post young Slap sending condolences. Young Slap men would post saying, let me make this shit clear. Y'all nigga keep saying smoking slap in all this rawish shit. None of y'all nigga did none. And I can put it on my soul. But on the other hand, your men killers still alive in these streets. Sad world we live in and y'all don't be outside it. A fact. Y'all want to play these internet game? Can we keep it gangster? Some other people would post about Young Slap too. You on the hill. And I, I want to uh, ask you about, you know, where you're from. I want to know a little bit about how your life starting up was before rap. Side people don't know. Shit. Shit, I grew up, I was, I used to play like football and shit. Football, basketball, shit like that. I was always outside for real. Uh, used to ride bikes. Used to be deep as shit on bikes and shit like that. Like, that's how I like we ain't had phones when I was young and shit like that. We used to like that's how how we knew niggas was outside. We look where all the bikes at. That's how we knew where niggas was at. You been uh you been rapping for like what like three, four, five almost five years now, four years now at least. Uh, I think like four years. Four by years. Five. Yeah. You been getting you been getting views. You got a song over two hundred thousand. Yeah. You got thousands of views on YouTube. But like, how hard is it to keep making good music? I mean, for real, boss. <laughs> I mean, if that shit, like, if you got that shit, that shit, me, bro, sometimes I, I just be needing, like, good beats and shit like that, and I just be having to get high, bro. <laughs> get high. Because I be high. When I when I get high and I don't be in the stew, I be like, bro, I need to go to the stew. So I be like, that's what I'm supposed to be when I'm high, in the stew. With, within Fuck the man. last year, you've been, like, kind of quiet more on the music side. You dropped a song, like, two months ago, but, like, you haven't been posting as much as you probably have been in the past few years. Is there like a reason for that? Nah, really, for real. I just just taking a break. I was just cooling from that rap shit, for real. I lost a couple homies. That shit made me calm, fall back from that shit. A couple good government soldiers. But is that, is, is rap that still shit. something that you're on now? Yeah, I'm, I'm on I'm still on it. Like, I still be rapping. I just don't be dropping no music. I still make music. I got endless new songs. I'm about to drop a tape for real probably on my birthday. My birthday next month. Like, a lot of your music, I would say, you look at it, there's a lot of features. You got featured, you featuring a lot of songs with a bunch of people, a few of your songs at least. Mm -hmm. Is there like a reason for that? Or is it just the men that you just do songs with? I just with? be fucking with the men. I be fucking with the men. Niggas be telling me I gotta start, I like doing shit myself. But I be fucking with the men for real. Is there any like, other artists that like, you trying to work with, you want to work with, or you just do music with your boys? Uh, I ain't really trying to work with nobody for real. I'm like, I'm with the same. It's probably my men only. I'm, I probably, I'm only be trying to do music with the niggas I fuck with. I don't be trying to fuck with new niggas for real. 
you're not geeking for views and stuff nah, like that. You're just trying to make music with the men. Yeah, I feel you. I ain't really that. What do you think is like one of the biggest problems that you've ran into since you started rapping? Shit, niggas be hating like shit out here. Niggas be hating like shit. For no reason. Bruh. Does, has that like affected your rap at all? Or is that just something that happens? Nah, that shit, that shit, I already got used to that shit. I used to egg that shit on, but now I just be like goofy. That shit goofy now, bruh. Fuck that shit. Niggas feel how they feel. I can't change how they feel. Has rap, like, has rapping ever put you in a situation that you've ever felt uncomfortable in? Or just, like, in general, like, you being an artist where people are seeing your face, they know who you, they know what you look like, they know who you are. Has that ever put you in situations you don't like? Man, yeah, like, I'm, like, I'd be in the mall. I was in the mall. I was in the mall the other day. Nigga, Doc walked up on me. This shit going on. I'm like, oh, bro. I had to tell him, you can't just walk up on me like that. I know I'd be rapping and shit, but you got, you know what I'm saying, approach it. You got to come with a different type of approach. She just, like, walked up on me. She had ski masks on and all that. I'm like, come on, bro. Feel all sideways up. about it. Yeah, I told him, you got to tighten up. You can't come at me like that. <laughs> there's, a, uh, there's a lot of rappers in the DMV alone. There's only a few in Maryland, really. Why do you feel like Maryland rappers don't get enough love? Or do you think they do get enough love? Nah, we don't get no love for real, bro. So always only they only fuck with niggas that out here. I mean, we we get some love. There's a couple niggas, couple niggas get some love, but like niggas out, like around here, they mostly fuck with them city rappers, mm -hmm. city rappers and shit. This young slap fifty seven hundred. This baby slam cover world land. Shout out Fusion. Shout out Fusion. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Where y'all originally from? I'm from Lanham, Cipriano Road. That's where we at right now? Nah, right we at Lanham. Right now we, we, on man, we on my man, we on my man, you, you, wait, we on Chapel Road. Like yeah. Chapel Road, I'm from, where? I'm from, uh, I'm from 57, I'm out Blade, that's on Blade side. Okay. So all this Maryland right here. Yeah, that's Maryland. Yeah, so how, how would y'all paint a picture of Maryland for a nigga that ain't never been to Maryland before? Wild ass city. Um, hey. Hey, man, ass niggas, hey, ass niggas, dick ass niggas, all that. Yeah. But, but niggas be supporting. There's niggas that show love. Some niggas be hey, and show love. Yeah. Some niggas be mad they can't get features. I ain't even know, man. Some niggas be mad. Yeah. Niggas just be weird out here. Why, why you think there's so much violence and hate out here in the city, though? Oh, no, because niggas, other niggas want what niggas got. Other <laughs> niggas want niggas possession. Niggas trying to get like that. Yeah. So how, how had the city changed from when y'all was growing up out here to now though? Like how did shit change? Was it worse back then or you know what I'm saying? Shit worse like now. Nah, shit worse now. You know what I mean? They got kids down. Yeah. Tight and shit. Back then it was crazy. Shit was bad. Back then it was crazy. Shit was bad. 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 Shit was